When we first started growing mung beans 30 odd years ago, um, we were using hard chemistry because that's all that was available. So you'd just go in, knock them out, and you'd be back in again in a week, basically. So, um, you know, it was expensive. Um, a lot of the time we had to use aerial sprays, um, but nowadays it's, it's totally changed. Um, so we sort of moved into similar uh, IPM to the cotton. Um, you know, we grow cotton as well, and we've been doing IPM in cotton for quite a few years now. We just basically let the crop run its course till we get to flowering. You know, they will probably do a cultivation, um, and then we'll start looking for insects, um, you know, fairly regularly. Our first spray will usually be a mirrored and heliothus spray together. So we are using Demetha weight at 250 to 350 mils, depending on plant size, with salt, five grams of salt. Um, and with this new Altacor, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been giving us really good results. We're getting over 20 days, you know, from the Altacor. Um, then we'll come in a bit later, we'll monitor the um, powdery mildew. It can be an issue in beans, so um, we'll probably then come back in, depending on pressure on, um, with a mirrored spray, and we'll put some um, fungicide on as well, just to keep that at bay, depending on the season, of course. We're monitoring from flowers on um, is beet sheet and visual. So we, we check the flowers and we do lots of beet sheeting and, um, and go from there. So this field here is about 70 hectares, so we'll do probably three to four beets here um, once to twice a week. And I rely on my agronomist um, to do that most of the time because I'm sort of busy doing other stuff, but I do get in and have a look myself just to make sure everything's okay. Since we've started IPM, um, we, we see a build-up of beneficials right from that early stage through. And if you grafted it, you would see at the end your beneficials, um, you're up here, you know, uh, whereas the old days there'd be no beneficials and, you know, we'd be still dealing with, with predators. The good bugs are working for you, so it's, it's um, you know, less expensive to grow the crop and a lot less time spent in the crop. Um, you know, you can go to bed at night and, and um, know that they're working for you. And, yeah, and if you do happen to get a season where, um, you know, you get rain and you can't get on to spray or this, that and the other, well, you know you've got some protection there because they are doing the job for you. It's changed how, how, how often we spray because we're basically just working on that, on that zone from flowering through to pod fill and we just concentrate on that and just, with, with Altacore now um, you know we're getting 20 odd days there and, and and maybe a mirrored spray at the end there or a veggie bug spray at the end and that's about it. Well there is a you know conception out there that mung beans um, are very quick crop so you don't really need to, to go down this track because um, you could just go in with a couple of hard ones to get you through but I think in areas like this, um, closer to the coast, where we do have some other issues, it definitely works and I would recommend it for sure.